a, a thought to you today, um, just the thinking about the cross, the cross of Jesus Christ. We say um, it's the vicarious atoning death of our Lord Jesus Christ. And what we ultimately mean by that is all that the 53rd chapter of Isaiah encompasses the cross was God's way to remove the obstacle of sin to a relationship with himself. Ultimately, God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit want a relationship with his creation. That's you, and that's me. And uh, sin was the obstacle and continues to be an obstacle and God wanted it removed so he sent Jesus Christ to die on the cross that that obstacle might be removed. Remember in John chapter 14 Jesus said I go to prepare a place for you. He's going and he's going someplace for a purpose and that's to prepare a place for us. What place is that? Well, he went on to say that where I am, not will be, not was, but where I am, present tense, where I am, there ye may be also. And so the question was asked, Jesus, we don't know where you're going and we don't know the way. In other words, it was a, a desire for an explanation. And Jesus gave that explanation very clearly, he said. Don't you know that I am, and he's going to give the location here. He doesn't say on planet Earth. He doesn't say in Israel. It doesn't say in Jerusalem. He's giving his location. He says, I am in the Father. Well, aren't you in Jerusalem? Yes. Aren't you in Israel? Yes. On planet Earth? Yes. But his primary dwelling place location was in the Father. And then he goes on to say, and I go to prepare a place for you that where I am there you may be also. Where are you, Jesus? In the Father. What are you doing? You are preparing, you are going to prepare a place in that same place where you are in the Father that we also might be there. Am I making myself clear? Oh, it's absolutely fantastic. And so Jesus indeed went to prepare this place. And how did he travel? He traveled by way of the cross. He had to go to the cross to remove the sin barrier so we can be forgiven, cleansed, washed, whiter than snow, so that we would be eligible for what? Well, Jesus said, I go to the Father. After the cross, he returned to the Father so that the Father would send the Holy Spirit. So here we have human beings alienated from their rightful position in God the Father, and Jesus coming moves the, the effect of sin, the sin itself, so that we might be filled with the Holy Spirit so that we could have a dwelling place with him in the Father. The cross is not the end. The cross is a means to the end. And the end, the goal, the will, is that we be with Jesus in the Father. And uh, does not Jesus say, you know, if you really want a fruitful life, this is how to have a fruitful life, a significant life, a life that counts for eternity. Not uh, wood, hay, and stubble, but silver, gold, precious stones. How do you get that life? Jesus said it very clearly. If ye abide in me, in that dwelling place, if you abide, dwell in me, and I dwell in you, 
you will bear, not might, you will bear much fruit. Well, isn't that absolutely magnificent? It seems that Moses knew a little bit about that even before the, the cross. He understood that he that dwelleth, not visits once in a while, he that dwelleth in that secret place. It's not secret because nobody knows about it. It's secret because only you and he can be there. You can have other loved ones and they can have their own secret place. But it's just you and the Father. He that dwells there will, will accrue to themselves the ultimate protection greater than the secret service or any other method of protection. You will dwell, uh, he that see, uh, dwelleth in the secret place, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. In Romanian, uh, the Romanian language, we say, atot poternic, duamne domnizeo atot poternic, all powerful, and you don't get any more protection than that. And uh, what do we find there? Well. The ultimate yearnings of the human heart are found only there. In thy presence is fullness of joy. And at thy right hand, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, at thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. I've tasted that, have you? I wish I could say that I've abided there non-stop. That's the yearning of my heart. And I hope to see you there too. No, it'll be a secret place. You'll be there in your secret place. I'll be there in my secret place. But what a wonderful place it'll be. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. Thanks for listening. God bless you. Bye.